In 2002, it was reported that on average, we experience an interruption every eight minutes or about seven or eight per hour. In an eight hour day, there is about 60 interruptions. In August 2018, research from the UK Telecoms Regulator, Ofcom, reported that people check their smartphone on average every 12 minutes during their waking hours, with 71% saying they never turn their phone off, and 40% saying they check them within 5 minutes of waking. 67% of smartphone users check their phones for not notification even if their phones does not ring or vibrate. And to our surprise, 18% of them report that this is now a habit for them. 44% of smartphone users sleep next to their phones as they don't want to miss calls, messages, social media updates during their sleep. 29% of smartphone users claim that they can't imagine living without their phones. This is destructive and is disastrous. It's anti and it counters productivity. And who can do without the internet? No one. Therefore, in this teaching, we'll be looking at how we can concentrate in a distracting world. How we can check and curb the excesses of the internet, of phones, of laptops, of tablets, of televisions. How to concentrate in a distracting world. The scripture says, guard your heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. Depression along with anxiety is a known factor in knocking out concentration. Put simply, better concentration makes life easier and less stressful and will be more productive where we can concentrate the more. To make this change means reflecting on what we are doing to sabotage personal concentration. And that's our business for today. So we're going to implement steps towards behavioral change that will improve our chances of concentrating better. This will mean deliberate reduction of distractions and being more self-disciplined about our use of social media which are increasingly urgent for the sake of our cognitive and mental health. Remember that it takes about three weeks for a repeating behavior to form a habit. Habits or breaking habits will take that long, about three weeks, to form habits or break habits. Therefore, getting into a new habit will not happen overnight. An adaptation can be incremental, but we must start by switching off smartphone alerts, by taking social media apps off our phones when it's necessary, by switching off the devices that are increasingly distracting us. That's what we talk about self-discipline. We have to learn to practice concentration by finding things to do that specifically engage us for a period of time to the exclusion of every other thing. So, how can we fuel our focus and concentration? Number one, Schedule time for technology to sleep. 
What I mean is this. Technology needs to sleep if you want to live an awakening life. It means you have to schedule a specific time each day when you have to put off your phone or turn off the laptop or turn off the television or turn off the gadgets. Anything that is related to social media that has been distracting you, you have to schedule a time to turn them to sleep. Then you can be alive and awake to your dreams. Number two, distraction should be listed. What is it that is distracting you? List these things down. Because distraction is a result of ideas or tasks that are popping up in our minds when we are actually focusing on some other tasks. So, we should not ignore them or they will keep popping up the whole day. What should we do? List them out. Itemize them. So, when you feel an urgent need to visit Amazon, to download the video, to send the mail that is not urgent, what do you do? Pull out a paper or a pad and write it there so you can go back there. That way you've conserved your energy. That way you've handled that distraction. That way you have made sure that you are managing your time better. What are the things that can keep us focused? Your environment matters a lot. So, your personal work environment plays a very large role in your ability to concentrate. Whether you are at home or in the office at your workplace, your work environment matters. The more comfortable and welcoming your environment is, the easier it is likely for you to stay focused. So, you have to improve your physical environment by making sure that you are comfortable. You can start by ensuring that your chair and your desk are in the right height for you to work comfortably. You can also put up pictures, viewing a natural scenery or watching a wildlife can help improve your concentration. Then we must learn to drown the noise always. How do we drown the noise always? By listening to music that can help us to concentrate the more. In our modern day, some people are using what we call the white noise apps. These produce a calming sound like the ocean waves or a falling rain, something of that nature. This could reduce distractions and help your focus the more. Then shut out everything that looks like distraction. If you're working from the home, then it could be difficult because of the inflow of pets, of persons, of family members, roommates, whatever classes they belong. So, you must learn to always shut your door. Keep your door closed. If it's the office, keep your office door closed. Never keep your door open always. Otherwise, you'll be distracted all through your work time or work period. That way you are able to handle your environment. Then when we look at nutrition, what can you do that can increase your ability to concentrate? Drink a lot of water. Many don't think about drinking water while working. Yet, dehydration can make one to feel very tired, very irritable, make one to become very slow and even to feel sick. So have water with you always. Whenever our brains don't have enough fluid, they cannot operate 
at peak performance. Therefore, staying hydrated is an easy way to help improve your concentration during the day. Then you might consider taking breakfast. Start your day with a healthy breakfast. It's much harder to concentrate when you are hungry. If you know you cannot cope without a breakfast, then take a breakfast. Take a healthy breakfast. Then you go to work. So it's recommended that you eat a well-rounded meal before you start work. You can also help your concentration throughout the day by keeping a healthy snack at your desk. For example, you can keep almonds, whole grain crackers, fresh fruit or vegetables around your desk. Then, always make sure you're getting up and moving around. Get up and move around. Whether you walk from home or you walk from the office, just get up, stretch your legs, move around. Research has shown that regular work can help increase your focus during the day. When you walk around regularly, it will help to increase your focus during the day. You can take a few minutes, few minutes, maybe 25 minutes break, or after 30 minutes of work, go on a break for like 5 minutes, just walk around. After 30 minutes of work, go on a break for 5 minutes, just walk around. So that way, through these things we suggested, by you taking water, having some snacks, around your desk taking healthy breakfast can help you to focus that the aspect of nutrition can help you to increase your concentration and to focus the more on your task at hand then mindset is everything also constant distractions and low productivity that's associated with the, with these distractions have become a common place in the, today's workplace Doctors have even given it a name and they call it Attention Deficit Trait, ADT. It's called Attention Deficit Trait, ADT. And they said that the entire organization can suffer from it. So it has a lot to do with our mindset. Therefore, we have to be able to set time to deal with worries because many have trouble concentrating during the day because they are constantly worrying about other things. It could be a deadline for a project. It could be a new colleague who is causing a problem in the office. It could even be personal issues. You have to be able to deal with these worries and keep them out of your official work. If you find yourself distracted by worries, note them down so that you don't need to hold them in your mind. Then schedule time to deal with these issues. Maybe after your work, Learn to focus on one task at a time. In time past, we were told that multitasking is okay. But multitasking these days, we have seen that it increases distraction. So we focus, better we focus on one task at a time. You say one thing have I desired, that will I seek after. It can be much harder to focus if you take mini breaks, 15 to 30 seconds to answer emails, send text messages, take quick phone calls, etc. Those things are very distracting. So, Learn to focus on the task at hand first before you take emails, before you answer emails, before you send text messages, 
before you take quick phone calls. Researchers believe that it can take up to 15 minutes for us to regain complete focus after a distraction of about 15 seconds or 30 seconds. So it is essential for us to focus on a task, one task at a time. Like we have said, close your email inbox and chat programs. Let your inbox do its job. If possible, set your online status to do not disturb. Let your colleagues know that you need to focus. If your organization operates an open door policy in the office, then try working from home to avoid workspace distractions. Next, learn to prioritize. Having too much to do can be very distracting. And this can sometimes cause procrastination. Therefore, prioritizing your tasks is necessary and is important for you to accomplish much during the busy, during the busy day. So, learn to prioritize. Switching between high and low attention tasks also matter so much. This can give your brain a rest after heavy concentration. For, for instance, if you spend two hours working on your departmental budget, you probably feel tired afterward. You can recharge your energy by working on a low attention task like filing your documents for 15 minutes before going back to your budget. So, learn to switch between high and low attention tasks. If a task is there that is so demanding on your brain, after you focus on it for a period, go to a lesser one, a hundred lesser one, before you go back there. These skills are so important for us to be able to concentrate in a distracting digital world. Learn to take short breaks. It's very essential. We can be masters at focusing, but eventually we are going to need a break always. Our minds can struggle to concentrate intensely on tasks for eight hours a day. This is where it can be better to divide your work into one hour segments with a five to 10 minutes break between tasks. So learn to take short breaks by dividing your tasks into maybe after, after an hour of work, you have a five to 10 minutes break. After an hour of work, you have a five to 10 minutes break. This will help to improve your concentration. Do your harder tasks when you are most alert. This will help you maximize your concentration. Do your hardest task when you are most alert. Then, if necessary, use a headphone set. If you have a headphone set for your phone, consider using it for a few hours each day. Because if your colleagues think, remember, if they think that you are on the phone, they are less likely to interrupt you. So you can put a phone headset on your head, on your ears, to help your concentration. Your colleagues will be deterred from disturbing you or distracting you. Then, schedule email downloads. It could be tremendously distracting to have emails pinging into your inbox every few minutes, thereby tempting you to stop what you are doing and to answer them right away. 
So if you can schedule your email to download only a few times EJ, then set a time aside to deal with them just at one goal. These are vital keys to improve your concentration. Above all, learn to separate yourself, to meditate, practice meditation, and refocus all the time. There is uh, an old method of learning to concentrate that is tagged watching the clock. And this is how it works. It's an old-fashioned a way of trying to build your concentration. So you may be looking at, you may try to focus on the, from 12, focus on the second hand of the clock as it's passing through the clock, going clockwise. Focus on it and move your eyes with it. And make sure you don't take your eye from it. And even if there is something that is going to distract you throughout the period, maybe you're going to have to focus on it for five minutes. If there is a thought that's coming to your heart, or somebody is trying to distract you, make sure you are focused on that second hand as it's passing through the clock round and round. The more you look at an image and focus on that image, the more you are able to build your concentration. You can also do that on other objects. Looking at them from your window, looking at them from your desk, and trying to focus on that object, not taking your eyes from it, will improve your concentration. Do that a few minutes every day. Also, physical exercises will be very helpful also. Studies have shown that physical exercises will help to improve your ability to concentrate. In fact, a Dutch study of school children published in the Journal of Science and Medicine in Sports in 2016 showed that interpersonal lessons with a two minutes, a twenty minute stretch of aerobic exercise measurably improved attention spans in the children that participated in it. So having physical exercises will also help. It's beneficial to regulate your brain. Regular exercises activates the body. And it's beneficial for the brain. So engage in regular exercises. Then, finally, learn to take rest. Lack of sleep affects concentration at work. Lack of sleep affects concentration at work. Poor sleep and being chronically under under, if you have underslept, it affects concentration. Maybe you are supposed to sleep for eight hours and you slept for four hours. You are supposed to sleep for nine hours and you slept for three hours. You have underslept and it will affect your concentration. So, improving sleep may not happen overnight particularly if it's a chronic problem but taking measurable steps to improve it will yield results over a period of weeks rather than days so try to improve your sleep ability improve increase the hours of your sleep if you have been under sleeping Make sure you're sleeping up to at least eight hours. And as far as we tell you, hey, don't you may not sleep up to eight hours. Millionaire does sleep up to eight hours. Millionaire sleep up to only six hours or whatever. 
that will tell on your ability to concentrate at the end of the day. So there's something I do always, and uh, I'm going to share with us. And that's the last, um, the last thing I'm going to share with us today. Okay, just do five more things. It's called the five more rule. It's simply a way of learning to concentrate better. This is how it works. Whenever you feel like quitting, just do five more. Five more minutes or five more exercises or write five more pages. This will extend your focus. The rule will push you just beyond the point of frustration. And it will help to build your mental concentration. It's a form of training as well as being a way of getting something accomplished. So even in meditation, sitting still will seem an easy thing to achieve, but it's harder than it sounds. You can do five more minutes, always. Five more minutes of sitting still. Five more minutes. Five more pages. Five more jumps. Five more exercises. We have to improve your ability to concentrate. God bless you. Go back to this message. Go back to this teaching and listen to it over and over. In a world that is saturated with distraction, we have to go to these things and look through them and listen to them and see how we can improve our abilities to concentrate. God bless you. See you at the top in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.